Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Charlie and in this video I want to go over a few of the myths about ceramic coatings. So I've talked to a few of my friends about ceramic coatings and I think a few myths have come up that I've seen also on the internet that I wanted to take one quick video to talk about a few of them, dispel some of them, talk about some of the truths behind the myths and set those to rest. And hopefully maybe you can share your opinions in the comments below. So let's get started with the myths of ceramic coatings. The first myth I think a lot of people misunderstand about ceramic coatings is as awesome as they are, people think that your car can't get scratched. And that's absolutely not true. Your car definitely can get scratched. If you coat a panel of your car and you take a key, I promise you it's gonna scratch it. But that's kind of based in a little bit of truth because people take the fact that ceramic coatings are more scratch resistant, they help minimize uh, light scratching because it is a hard protective layer on top of the paint, but they extrapolate that into the fact that your car can't get scratched. That's definitely not true. It can, but what it does do is it does help, like I was saying, help minimize these minor types of scratches from things like less than perfect washing technique. Um, I definitely still don't recommend going through an automatic car wash or anything like that. This is not something you can put on your car and it protect it from awful things like automatic car washes, still please don't do that. But if you ever have a situation where you're using maybe a less than awesome microfiber towel, things like that that put in minor scratches to your paint, these ceramic coatings help minimize those kind of effects. And speaking of automatic car washes, that gets on to myth number two, that you don't have to wash your car anymore. Once you put a coating on it, you never have to take care of it. You put it on there and you're done. Now, some people, if your level of standard of clean is very low, you might think that, but that's not true. You definitely still need to wash your car. You still need to take care of it. You still need to upkeep it. You still need to wash it, do all those things. But the truth behind that myth is that it does make it less prone to collecting dirt. It makes between washes, your car doesn't get as dirty, and it makes the fact of when you have to wash it, it makes the washing process much easier. Because of those hydrophobic properties of a lot of the ceramic coatings, it makes it to where when you wash it, a lot of things, once you just rinse it, a lot of the dirt gets picked up by just water alone and runs off. So it makes cleaning it much easier. And between washes, since things don't like to stick to the paint, so to speak, a lot of the dirt doesn't stick to the paint, but you still have to wash your car. So the fact that you might think you never have to wash it again is totally not true. The next myth I hear from ceramic coatings is that they can't be removed, they're permanent. Once you put them on, they're permanent. Uh, that's definitely not true as well. There are some coatings that claim nearly 10 years worth of uh, protection. That seems pretty permanent to me, uh, but the reality is that things don't last quite that long. That's in an ideal condition, but coatings can be removed. It is not permanent. It's not like painting a layer of clear coat on the car. However, the truth behind that is that it is very difficult to remove true ceramic coatings. A lot of times they can take as much as wet sanding to get off um, heavy compounding, things like that. There's nothing you can just walk out, spray on, and get it off. So it is true that it's semi-permanent is the way that I kind of like to tell people is that when you commit to putting it on there, it's very difficult to remove, but not impossible. So don't let that one fool you. And the next myth is that it has to be done by a professional. Now, while that might be a good idea for a lot of people, if it's something you don't want to tackle yourself or you don't trust yourself or don't want to put in the effort and the work to learn about the back end of things and learn how to do this, then yes, it is true that you probably should use a professional. But there are plenty of home DIY kind of prosumer level products that do a great job of coating the car, do a full, you know, ceramic, full true ceramic coating on the car you can get yourself and do at home. In fact, I did this car, my 2022 718 Spider. I did that myself. I didn't pay a shop to do it, I did it myself, and it turned out fantastic. It's so awesome to wash this car now. Washing and drying takes like this. I can take my electric leaf blower, blow over the car, and within like 30 seconds, it's dry. It's awesome. But like I said, with that, uh, if you're not willing to put in the effort and the work to learn about how to apply these things properly, how to prep things properly, then I would say that yes, you should have to do it by a professional, but it is not true that you have to have it done by a professional. It's definitely easy enough for someone who's wanting to put in a little bit of work, you can definitely do it yourself. Which leads me to the last myth that it's expensive. It's crazy expensive. It's got to be expensive. 
there's nothing that can be this good that's cheap, right? Well, I guess it's a relative term because this bottle of ceramic coating here from Adams, which will coat two to three small cars um, completely, is around a hundred-ish dollars, say around a hundred dollars, give or take. And when you factor in the microfiber towels and the prep soaps and sprays and things like that to kind of prepare the surface to clean everything up and to use the microfiber towels to actually apply the product, uh, you can be looking upwards as, you know, just say under $200, which to me for this kind of protection and what I get from the car is really inexpensive. Now I know that's not quite the same as going and buying a $10 bottle of spray from AutoZone, but it's really not that expensive for the benefits you're getting for how long that they last. So they don't have to be expensive. However, like I was just talking about having a professional do it, they can get very expensive when you take it to a shop to do it. Sometimes shops charge thousands of dollars to apply a ceramic coating because of the prep work like I was talking about. It's not necessarily the application of a ceramic coating that's expensive, it's all the work that goes in behind it. Because basically when you apply a ceramic coating, you're sealing in what's beneath. So if your paint has swirl marks, uh, light minor scratches, or even big scratches for that matter, if you coat over those things, they're still going to show up. Now they're just protected under that layer. So if your scratches are here and you put a coating on top of it, you can't fix those unless you remove the coating. So if you take your car to a detail shop to have them coated, a lot of times most of that cost comes in paint preparation. They're going to compound, polish, get the paint as good as it can be before adding the coating because whatever you do, it's, again, it's going to be sealed in. And you don't want to seal in a car with a whole bunch of scratches if you can help it. Which is why when I did this car, even though this car was brand new, I still took it to Auto Works, which is a local detailer here in North Alabama. If you're local, you should check them out. They do fantastic work. So I paid him to do the paint correction and I took the car home and had the fun of coating it myself. Which, it's definitely fun. I think anyone should, if you love your car, it's just something, it's therapeutic to me to come out and take care and clean my car and stuff like that. So if it's something you enjoy doing, definitely continue to do your research on how to apply ceramic coatings and you know tackle it yourself so that's pretty much all i've got with this there's probably some more myths like that if you heard some other things about ceramic coatings leave them in the comments below if you've got questions about anything leave those in the comments below if you're new to the channel definitely consider subscribing it really helps me out and if you like the video like the like button as well and until the next video